Hi guys, I'm Daniel from Walnut Cyber Security Club and I'm a cabinet member and I also compete in Cyber Patriot. And so today we're going to be discussing what Cyber Patriot is and what we do in it. So here I am on Cyber Patriot's website at uscyberpatriot.org and the first thing I want to do is go to about what is Cyber Patriot. And so they give us a huge blurb with a bunch of information but the one we only really care about is the National Youth Cyber Defense Competition. So it reads, at the center of Cyber Patriot is a National Youth Cyber Defense Competition, which puts teams of high school and middle school students in the position of newly hired IT professionals tasked with managing the network of a small company. Through a series of online competition rounds, teams are given a set of virtual operating systems and are tasked with finding and fixing cybersecurity vulnerabilities while maintaining critical services. The top teams in the nation earn all expenses paid trips to Maryland for the national finals competition where they can earn national recognition and scholarship money. So that gives us like a brief overview or general overview of what it is, but we want to see what we actually do in the competition, right? So we can go over to competition, getting started, the competition overview. And so this gives you a list. I'll put the link later in the description or the Discord or our Notion if you want to read more about it. But basically, we have a team of six competitors and there's also a coach and we compete over a six hour time period and where all six students are working on each of the parts of the competition and there can actually only be five students for the whole six hours competing at one time so there's usually going to be one guy subbing in and another guy subbing out and so if we want to see when we compete we can go over the current competition and competition schedule and so there's a huge circle here with basically a cycle of what happens every year and this season re registration opened at april 1st we had a bunch of basically training events or practice rounds so exhibition round one two training round the sneak preview there's a registration deadline here we had a practice round and our competition a real competition started counting here at round one from october 25th to 27th and so basically this is all prep here but then after is where we try to get to nationals and so we have round one and round two state round semifinals and national finals and round one and round two basically what it does is those two rounds you compete and it places you into either silver gold or platinum and usually we want to aim for platinum and this year we did and so round one after round one and round two we have state round state round there's a different a couple different competition images and you'll see later on i'll explain more and then we go to seven finals and then so usually round one, round two, we get to state round up, so where we place platinum and we try competing platinum. And after platinum, we have semifinals, and at semifinals, there's only like 250 teams left, 200 teams left. And from the initial, so actually at the round start of round one, there's around 3,000 open, uh, open division teams. So we're in open division. There's also uh, all service for military. Uh, usually it's like the military side, and there's also middle school division or middle yeah middle school division or middle schoolers but here we are so we're we're in open division and so what happens is we made it to semifinals there's 250 teams left national finals 12 teams come out from open division to go to uh maryland and sadly this year we placed uh, a little for too short and we didn't make it to national finals but here it's a list of what happens. So there's exhibition round one, two, these are all training events, then we have competition dates. And so we can also go to the current competition challenges by round. So this tells you really what you do, right? So we're, see here's open division, so that's us. All service is like the more military side. For the kids wanting to go into military, this is a competition they can compete in as well. And there's also middle school. And so here we go to round one, so these are practice round and there's there's basically two main parts so there's first as you can see here network security challenge so that's where we have the operating systems like windows ubuntu and server 2016 which is windows server 2016 actually and we also have cisco network challenging cisco networking challenge and uh, for cisco networking challenge there's a quiz and there's also a packet tracer and quiz is basically just a quiz about networking in general. Packet Tracer is where they give you a basically a virtualized network and you have to configure and set up the network. And yeah. And so for a network security challenge, round one, we have server 2016 with Windows 10 and Ubuntu 14. <laughs> and so what we do in each of the operating systems is we start it up on a virtual machine. Like uh, for us, it's VMware. So um, 
usually we use this VMware Workstation 15. They email out the operating systems, and basically our goal is to patch up the network system or the operating system so that we can uh, ensure that. Well, in our case, it's like a small company running, and we have to make sure it's secure, but it still works, right? Mm -hmm. So what we do is we go through the operating system and we look through for little bugs or like patches or holes that are inside and like the vulnerabilities and basically have to fix them. And so for Windows 10, it's mostly graphical interface, but we can all, we also use things like scripting, batch scripting, and we write scripts. And Ubuntu 14 is a uh, basically a Linux system and we have a couple of members work on that. We have a couple of members work on Windows 10. We have a couple of members work on Server 2016. And Server 2016 is basically Windows 10, but it's like a server instead of just like a workstation computer. It like over, it runs a whole network of computers, and you have to do some additional com configurations that are different from Windows 10. And for Quiz and Packet Tracer, a couple people work on that as well. And so round one, it looks like that. We have total possible points of 330. Round two, close to the same thing also do 30 and then here comes our placements so there's platinum gold silver middle school and platinum gold and silver usually we want to aim for platinum and for a state round their platinum is significantly more tough than gold and gold is tougher than silver and so we have the same operating systems but packet tracer and the quiz are now worth 100 points instead of 30 points and semifinals we actually have a new operating system coming in called Debian 8. It's also a Linux operating system, but that means we just have another guy working on it. Cisco Networking Challenge is still worth 100 points and it gets tougher. And it has a possible total of 500. And if you make it out, place top 12, then you go to nationals. And so that's basically pretty much it for the competition. And we also have, they also have a rule book here. And you can read through the rule book talking about what you have to do to set it up. And so if you want to actually compete, right, you have to have a computer and some, and it has to have some specifications. So here on technical specifications, I recommend you to use VMware Workstation Player 15.10 right over here. And they also have Packet Tracer and they also have recommended uh, software. So if they're saying you have to be 64 bit, you're gonna have to have at least uh, something at least i3, and you have minimum hardware requirements, and most of the time it'll be fine. So this will probably work for most people. And usually, what happens is we get up, uh, we usually discuss on what day we want to compete, and then we get a. So this year we go to one. Of the, we went to one of the competitors' garage, and we would actually compete in the garage, and we would just do over six hours, and we usually would create a spreadsheet of when we're all free and we find the best times, but things like that, yeah. So that's basically a server Patriot competition for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comments or message us on the Discord. We'll put a link for our Discord. We also have a Notion page for if you guys want to learn more or you can just contact us on Discord yeah, to learn more. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. So thanks guys. Uh, stay safe and we'll see you later.